Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and another Flutter tutorial. In this video, we will discuss how to implement Showcase View in our app. Basically, we will be making use of Showcase View in order to provide relevant information about the functionality and features available in our Flutter app. As you can see, I have implemented a design, and I plan to teach the different parts of this design to the user who intends to use it. In this video, I will use a package called Showcase View, which provides a walkthrough experience for users who are opening the app for the first time. First, we need to add the Showcase View package to the pub spec. I have done this before, and you must first install this package in your project to continue always make sure to check for the latest version. Now let us start implementing the showcase view by creating a custom global keys. So I create keys for the different sections that I want to showcase. Next, I go to the init state method and register the showcase view with the register method. Then I go to the dispose method, and when the widget is disposed, I unregister the view associated with the showcase. Now I will start implementing the parameters related to the register method. First, I set the auto play delay parameter, and then I implement the global floating action widget parameter. Inside this parameter, I show a button that the user can use to disable the showcase display at any stage. Now I'm going to start implementing the global tooltip actions parameter. This parameter takes the widgets and I implement the previous and next buttons inside this parameter. And I specify that the previous button is not shown at the beginning because there is no way to go back. And I also specify that the next button is not shown at the end. Now, I use a callback that is triggered after the first frame is rendered. Inside this callback, I call the start showcase method. 
This method is responsible for triggering the showcase when the app loads, and it accepts a list of global keys, and I am posting all six global keys here. Now I'm starting to implement a custom stateless widget for the showcase. This custom widget will take a few parameters such as a global key, title, description, child widget, and the progress value to show the progress to the user. Since these values are final, we will pass them through the constructor. This custom widget will return the showcase with widget provided by the showcase view package. In short, we have defined a reusable wrapper that returns a showcase widget internally. It has various parameters that you can change according to your needs and design and implement your desired design.
Very well now, I go back to the build method. Here I will start wrapping all the widgets that need attention using the custom showcase widget I created. Now inside the app bar I have two icon buttons, one for menu and another for the profile. First I wrap the menu icon button using our custom showcase widget and provide the required parameters such as global key, title, and description. I rerun the project and you can see the result. As I explained earlier, I used the global floating action widget parameter to close the showcase and you can see the result. And as you can see, this is done by the dismiss method. Of course, there is a problem that I will fix and rerun the project. And as you can see in the video, this method can receive other methods as parameters within itself. I will only show you these methods, and you can use these methods according to the needs of your project. Okay, now I'll do the same thing for the profile icon button. I rerun the project and you can see the result. And finally, I do the same thing one by one for the bank card section, recent transactions, and the receive and pay buttons, and I rerun the project each time so you can see the result.
Very well, that was how we implemented Showcase View in a Flutter app. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, consider subscribing, and if you have any questions, ask me in the comments section. I will see you in the next video.